Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about how to do the VPN uh, side to side uh, between uh, Azure and Prisma Access. So the design for the lab here, uh, and this is will be uh, the remote networks part in Prisma Access. So the idea here, in the Prisma Access, uh, we're going to configure firewall as a services there. And in Azure, we're going to configure one uh, server here or one VM here. And this VM, we join it to the virtual network. And in the virtual network, we're going to configure the VPN components. There is a three part in the VPN in Azure side to side. The first part representative here is a virtual network gateway then second part local network, and then finally connection. Those three components for the Azure uh, VPN side to side. Once it's done this one, uh, we're gonna route all the traffic for this VM to the tunnel, to the through this tunnel here. So we're gonna use the route table from uh, Azure as you know. So as a result, we, will route the traffic for this VM. If, if this VM need to go to the SaaS application, should we go use this tunnel through the Prisma and go to the uh, SaaS application through the internet. And the second scenario, if this computer need or this VM need to access some services here, something in 10.5.00 slash 16 subnet, will be go through the Prisma access uh, as well through the tunnel here in service uh, connection. So we're gonna start first with the Prism access. We will configure the Prism access here. Then after that, we will go to Azure to configure the VPN part. So let's get started. All right, this is the Prism access. I will uh, access or manage the Prism access through Panorama. So I will go to the remote networks here first to configure the firewall as the services here. But before to go there, I need to go to the network to make sure my tunnel is ready. So I go to the phase one I carry here. Then I already created here one profile, which is they call Azure 01, as you can see here. So basically Azure is need uh, the home and group two and need the authentication SHA-256 and SHA-1 and encryption need 256 uh, advanced encryption uh, here so at the second as well the time for key uh, lifetime need this uh, time as well this is the phase one and phase two for ipsec as well with the profile with the azure as you can see here encryption is 256 and sha sha for the authentication and the development group for ip6 is nothing here so I just select no pfs then the time as you can see here now in ike gateway as you can see here in azure one i'm gonna use the ip address and before that ike v2 to prefer only ike v2 uh, is better to use with the v2 here and for IP address, I don't have the public IP yet from Azure, so I will put it just temporarily this IP. Then pre-shared key, I will put it Palo Alto. Any pre-shared key, you put it here. I put it Palo Alto, one, two, three. And the advanced option, I make the passive, my, my tunnel, and the time as well here the live uh, time check is five interval second so i guess maybe we back or revisit this page later on so i just say okay here and my tunnel here ipsec tunnel also azure one as you can see this is my uh, ik gateway and my crypto and i don't need anything with the proxy because we're going to use the route base VPN. Then after that, I say, OK, I go to the panorama, uh, Prisma access, I go to the configuration and remote networks. So I just add. Then I put it this one as an Azure 
01 RM remote networks then location I'm gonna use the US South US South here and they need bandwidth I can select another 50 bandwidth I have another 50 free bandwidth so this is here will be US South and IPsec termination I just selected this and my IPsec tunnel I just created which is the Azure 01 okay uh, right now I show you the static route and for example 10.26.0.0/16 again we revi revisit this one and most probably we gonna use the BGP as well because uh, we're gonna use both of them and we can see and test both of them but BGP it will be much easier is as a dynamic routing protocol so I just say okay here and once it's done here and I just go to push the configuration to the cloud then after that push the configuration that one take around uh, seven minutes to create the SPN or to create firewalls services in the cloud here so you can monitoring your configuration from status here I can close here and my network will be show you here to deploy as you can see your deployment the network remote networks here so during that time I need the public IP so I can go to the status and network details then I go to the remote networks they give me the public IP here for Azure zero one remote networks it's supposed to be here I have the public IP here perfect so I can copy and go to the Azure I mean, complete the configuration from the Azure side all right in Azure first I need to configure uh, the network and need to configure the virtual network and VM as well but we can do that during the configuration for the VPN uh, here so first of all I go to the search here I just write virtual and you can see here a virtual network gateway looking for the option first so I create virtual network here so here they ask me where is your subscription and what is the name for this virtual network gateway I call it virtual network gateway dash zero one for example and where is in which region let's go with the east US here yep east US no problem and they keep everything default like a gateway VPN will be and VPN type will be route based VPN and a virtual network here we can create the virtual network if you remember the configuration for the virtual network if you remember here in our design I configure the network virtual network right now from the virtual network gateway so I'm gonna use here virtual network create virtual network I call it this one for Azure 01 and my resource group and they say is will be 10.27 so what is the first network I can change it the address range and the subnet will be 10.27 I keep it the same dot one dot zero slash 24 this is my network here or my subnet first one I'm supposed to put it here and the name will be subnet 01 okay and I just say hit OK here so I have this VN or VNet here and after that they ask me do you want a public IP yep I need a new create a new public IP and the name for this public IP will be PIP dash VPN or any name you want I keep everything default here BGP maybe we turn it on later on then after that next can put it some tag then review and create now the create for this will be quick and the issue here we need to wait because the configuration uh, for the Azure to give you the public IP is take around 20 minutes 
So maybe I pause the video once this VPN is ready uh, for this virtual network gateway. And once this public IP is ready, I can move forward. So I pause the video once is everything done. We will continue after that. All right, after uh, 10 to uh, 12 minutes, uh, the configuration for virtual uh, network gateway completed. So I go to the resources here, and this is the public IP from Azure. So now I have a public IP from Azure. I have a public IP from Prisma Access. So after finish the virtual network gateway, you can go to another part, they call local network gateway. And you can add here local network gateway, and you can give any name local local network gateway slash azure one zero one and you can put it here the public ip as you can see here the public ip address of your local network here the public ip address from prisma so i can copy the ip address from prisma i can put it here then they say address space here which network you want to access to uh, from Azure to Prisma Access. So I need to access to 10.5.0.0/16. This is the network data center. So you can add whatever you can add any network you want to uh, access or from Azure. Once it's done here, uh, resource group, you need to create or you need to go to your resource group. This is my resource group and location the local network gateway should be the same location and i think the location for here we use east us so after that i create the local network gateway as well that one is not shouldn't take more time once it's done this one we have to go to the last part which is they call connections once the local network gateway completed from here you can go one and click on it and from here you can create the connection the last part of the vpn uh, you can create the connection from here as well but it's better to create it from here so go to the connections here then add put it any name here connection that's your one and selected your virtual network gateway the first option we been uh, configured here so i just selected this one then they ask for pre-share key just put it Palo Alto one two three as a pre-share key or any pre-share key you prefer then bgp later on we turn it on as you can see here i enable it only ike v2 from here then i just say okay here that one will be take few uh, take a few minutes here uh, to see the result as you can see here the status is updating is not connected yet of course will be not connected because the public IP is not configured in the Prisma access the public the Prisma the Azure public IP so just very quick we got again to the virtual network because the public IP up there as you can see here I copy that public IP and I back to the connection from here. I think the connection is ready now. When I go here, connection, as you can see here, this is the connection. This connection is unknown. After that will be not connected after a while. And you can see there is no send and receive it yet because there is no any public IP in a Prisma. So I got to Prisma very quick here. I go to the network then go to ik gateway if you remember we configure it azure 01 temporarily ip is just like a 111 i have to put it the correct one which is this one this is the public ip from azure then after that okay also we need uh, to check it out the policy here as you can see i create one policy for test and I allow it any any source um, zone and source IP going to source uh, destination zone and destination IP. So just make sure to put that policy for test only in order to make sure the connectivity 
uh, is there. And I save the configuration in remote networks. So once it's done, this one should be uh, see the connection here should be connected. I think will be here not connected or unknown for now. Then after that, we'll be try to connect it after save the configuration here in, in the Prisma. All right, the configuration completed push to the Prisma access remote network firewall as a services there. So you can monitoring here, selected all from here, then selected system. Then after that, looking for VPN and looking for Azure 01, which is the template here. So when you click here, as you can see here, the negotiation is succeed, succeeded as a responder here. So look like the VPN is established here. If you go to the Azure here and refresh, as you can see here now is connected. Uh, the connection is completed and the tunnel is up as well, look like. If you go to Prisma here very quick and go to Panorama and Status in uh, Cloud Services, you can see in the remote networks here should be, when you click here and you can see here tunnel 2 is up, so it should be work. You can go to monitoring here and remote networks and you can see the tunnel is working perfectly here yeah sorry azure zero one is south in the south this one so it's work bgp is not enabled we'll enable it after that